Hey, this is Flo and this video will teach you the basics of writing clean SwiftUI views. For that I have created an example project here which is everything but clean. And uh, in this video we will refactor it a bit and clean it up so you can see how you can actually work with your old projects and uh, make them a lot prettier. So first of all I'm going to show you what I've built. It's just a very very simple example. It's a one, uh, one view application basically. Um, which has some navigation view with the title. It has a list here with some dummy data and it also has a sheet that can be opened by pressing this open sheet button. Okay, and then on the left hand side here um, you can see the code. So this is just a standard SwiftUI view code but I've made it messy on purpose so we can uh, see how we can refactor it. So the first thing that I want to uh, Want to show you is that whenever you're working with sheets it's good to have all of the content of the sheet in a separate view so for that i will copy and remove everything that's inside of the sheet press command n and create a new swift ui view i will just call this one my sheet and paste everything into the body here Next we're going to take a look at this code by itself, so it's not that bad. The only thing that you notice is there are a few modifiers in one line here, so you might want to break them up into separate lines. Um, there's a line break here between this text and this image, so you should also add a line break up here. Then also put this font modifier in a new line. Then you also notice that the first text uses the bold modifier, while the second one uses the font weight bold modifier. I would say the font weight bold is better because you can change it to a different font weight later on. So let's just grab that and replace the bold modifier up here as well. And other than that, I think um, this is fine for now. So we can just save it, go back to the content view, into the sheet and put my sheet in here. Okay. Next up, uh, while we're still dealing with the sheet, you can see that there is a closure for the content argument here. But actually um, in SwiftUI and generally in Swift, you should always use the trailing closure syntax. So that means that the last argument in an initializer or function call can be removed and can be appended as a trailing closure. So don't forget to delete the parentheses. Now this does exactly the same thing as before, but it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so now that we have managed the sheet, let's go up a bit. So you can see um, this view has a navigation view and a scroll view, which is totally fine. It has a text to my very cool app. So basically this text here, welcome to my very cool app. And then you notice there's all sorts of weird stuff here. So indentation uh, is all messed up. So first of all, I wanna press Command A and then Control I which will automatically fix all of the indentation. So now you can see the text and the button are have the same indentation here. Okay, all of these modifiers are also fixed now, so that's good. Okay, so let's see um, what could next. You can see there is an empty line here, but not between the text and the spacer, so you should uh, stay consistent with your uh, empty lines. And also regarding the spacer, it has a minimum length of zero, which is actually the standard. So we can just scrap that parameter. Okay, so that's this button here. And this is pretty long. So what you could do is um, create a separate view, separate view for it. But since I'm only going to use it inside of this content view, I'm just going to copy it, remove it, and call it sheet button, just like this. And then outside of the body, I will create another computed variable just like the body, which I will call sheet button. Give it the type sum view just like the body and paste my button in here. And this now allows us to make the body itself much, much cleaner because we just have this sheet button here and we don't have to uh, think about what it actually is and what it does. Okay, next up is VStack. So Basically the same stuff as before, there's a modifier on the same line, it's never good, so let's put that one on the next line and there's also no line break in between. 
Same between the H stack and the for each, there's also no line break. Um, but there's a random line break here, which doesn't really make sense, so we can remove that one. There's also no empty lines inside of the H stack, so let's add them as well. Okay, um, so this for each is basically the list of our house rows. And um, you could also once again grab that whole for each, put it in a separate view or put it in a computed variable. But what I would personally do is grab the content, so one row of our list. So I will grab this H stack, copy it and remove it. Hit Command N to create a new Swift UI view and call it house row. Okay, and then paste everything inside of the body here. Now this will not work because the text here needs a number. So for that we're going to create a, a uh, variable called number of type integer because that's what we're getting from the for each. Now this won't compile because we need to pass it into our preview. So let's add a number here of for example zero and then that will also work it. Okay, so going back to the content view, we can now just use the house row with the number, just like that. And now we've made this a lot prettier as well. Okay, next up, something uh, that I see quite often is empty lines before modifiers. So we never want that, so let's delete them. And then also empty lines uh, before curly braces, that's also never good. So let's delete all of those as well. As you can see, it already looks a lot better. Last thing that I would do is grab this whole a a V stack, so basically our list of house rows, and make it a computed variable again, so the body is very nice and readable. <coughs> so let's do that. Grab it, let's call this one just list, or uh, let's call it house list. Let's create another computed variable. And let's paste everything in there. Okay. So as you can see, in just a few minutes, we have refactored the code to make it a lot more readable, to make it a lot more presentable and also reusable by creating this house row and this my sheet view. So let's run it again in the preview. You can see the app still works exactly the same, but our code is now much cleaner. I hope that this little video showed you some ways to refactor your code and to write clean Swift UI views. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you want to see in the next video. See you!